Everyone, it's Thursday, October 24th, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Maxwell Cat 106, and I love the, uh, I'm assuming that's Maxwell in the avatar. Uh, my starting word is ingot. That's a very interesting starting word. It's a really good one. I think we used that once before, way, way back, but it is definitely time to give it another go. So we're going to open here with ingot. Let's see what we get. Okay, all right. We kept the streak alive. We have not yet this week uh, had a completely uh, uh, fruitless opener. So we have the letter O here, out of position. Uh, we have uh, tried and evaluated the letter I, so obviously we're not going to go with audio on the second guess. Uh, but maybe we'll move that letter O around and see what we can do with it. Uh, if it wasn't for the letter T, I'd say row eight. Uh, I've been looking for an excuse to work that word back into our rotation. Uh, one of these days, the not too, not too distant future. Uh, oh, here's something that we could try. How about the word house? Uh, again, moving that letter O around for Intel and putting four really great letters around it. Uh, you never know. You never know. It could be the answer. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word house? No, it's not, but look at that. We have found where the O lives. It's in the second spot, and we also have the letter S in position in the fourth spot. So, okay, pretty good forward movement here. And again, I, I, said, this, uh, I said this before, that letter O could be weird because sometimes you can just make it all about the consonants after you found the O in the second or third spot. But let's just see what we've got here. Um, I'd say toast if it wasn't for the fact that we tried the T in ingot. Um, the OAS in the middle, but you see, if I'm going OAS in the middle, I think that you have to go with the letter T at the end, so we could rule that out, uh, and by extension, probably rule out the A outright. So again, that also makes me wonder, do we have yet another word? It was like the third time this week with two O's, like O-O-S something. Like, that would be really weird, wouldn't it? Almost like an intentional kind of strange thing. Uh, but what would you do with it? Like OOS, like like woozy? <laughs> that would be really strange. Um, I almost feel like I don't want to go there. That just seems like it's too unlikely, you know? But what else do I do here? Because we know no I's use an E's are in this word. Uh, maybe it is possible that the Y is involved. Maybe it's like bossy. Um I would almost be more interested in something like the word bossy because uh, I find testing the letter Y more compelling than testing the double O. Uh, although if in this case, uh, if it was woozy, we'd have the Y light up anyway. So I suppose this is actually a sensible way to go. Um so you know what? Let's give it a go. Um, is the answer to today's puzzle the word bossy? Yes, it is. Wordle just wants to let you know. Uh, they saw your TPS reports, those cover sheets. I don't know if you got the memo. <laughs> Inside joke, if you know the movie Office Space from the 90s. But um, nonetheless, wow. Okay, so this is a bossy day. Uh, I hope I never come across as bossy. I'd like to think of, I'm like the wishy-washy middle manager that tries to be your friend. That's that's my job here. <laughs> <laughs> and to tell you, you're doing a great job. Lots of positive reinforcement. I know you are. Curious to see how you did in the comments below. Uh, was it a good day at the office or were things not quite well uh, or as you'd expect? Uh, speaking of good days at the office, well, tomorrow could be a challenging one because it's Fearless Friday. Uh, and we are going to try a really tough one, Hippo. Hippo is going to be the starting word. So that will definitely provide, again, quite the bit of challenge. Hopefully we'll be up for it. I'm sure you will too. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.